Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dr. Deeksha and today we are going to discuss about NMC got uh, recognition from WFME accreditation. Okay, so uh, like there are so many people talking about it nowadays and let's just find out what the buzz is all about. Like I have talked to so many people and I have also posted this on my Instagram story like what uh, people are thinking. Like I wanted to ask them what they are thinking. So I asked them like what do you think now you don't need to give any exam and most of the people are thinking that yes that's true that they are like they don't need to give any exam now and they can do go for the post graduation trainings and uh, in the countries like uh, new zealand australia canada usa so yeah this is what people are thinking uh, so in this video we will uh, discuss everything about it like not everything but the this thing like do we need to give exams or not so let's just uh, let's just understand what is WFME accreditation. WFME stands for World Federation for Medical Education is a recognition that is given to the medical institutes that meet global standards in the medical education. What it signifies is that these institutes follow the best medical practices uh, and yeah. <laughs> So let's just understand why is NMC's uh, getting this uh, WFME recognition is such a big deal. So it demonstrates that India's commitment to maintain high standards in the medical education and it aligns with the international benchmarks. And uh, it also says that it opened doors for Indian medical graduates on the global scale. Now, who are the people who will get benefit, benefit from all this? So Indian medical, it says that Indian medical graduates will gain opportunity for post-graduation post training and practices in uh, countries like USA, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Now, the main part of the video is clarifying this misconceptions. So there are many misconceptions going on about the whole situation. So does WFME accreditation guarantee practice abroad? Like, does this accreditation will allow people to practice medicine? The answer is no. Sorry to disappoint you, but this is not what it is. Like, you still need to give the exams. Nothing is changed. Like, something is changed, but for us, nothing is changed. So there were some people who are saying that some policy change happened in for the USML exam. It's like if you want to give the exam, so the WFME accreditation is necessity. And uh, but that doesn't change the fact that you still need to give the English proficiency exams and the AMC or the registration uh, exams for other countries and the trainings and everything, everything you need to do. It's it's still on the plate. And one more thing, like if you think the information I shared is uh, somewhere wrong or uh, contradicting, then please comment below or just leave me a text because everybody needs to know about it. And uh, if you have any uh, thoughts about this whole situation, then do let me know. I really want to know what people are thinking right now because uh, like I, I still feel like I need to laugh over the whole situation because I don't know who is getting, getting benefit from all this. The things doesn't change for us. We still need to give so many exams. And uh, yeah, this is it. So this is it for my today's video. If you like the content I share, which I don't think anybody will like the content I share because it's of no use for us. But uh, still, I clarified the whole misconception. So if you like it, please um, like, share and subscribe to my channel. And good luck. Thanks for watching.